previously on TV Sins. You really have no idea what's going on, do you? You think it's coincidence you're being here? Things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Did he just run straight up a cliff face barefoot? Good to know the show is establishing early on that we should throw out all of our weird fascinations with the actual laws of physics. Also, this dude sees a boat and wants to signal it, but the first 20 seconds of this show is Arrow running through the dense woods and up a giant rock to get in position. Where the f*** did he see this boat in the first place? You might give me a ton of explanations and all of them might be right, but that's the consequence of starting your show with 20 seconds of goddamn shaky cam, quick editing, and uncertain geography. The name of the island they found me on is Leon Yu. It's Mandarin for the island of convenient backstories. Also, arrowation. I can only assume that this shot means we will get some awesome death stroke in this show later on, and that it'll be handled brilliantly and not wasted, cause if not, well. I've been stranded here for five years. Which is just long enough to seem like I'd be really good with a bow and arrow, but not so long that I'm too old for our key demo to put up my posters and swoon. Also, show promises at least five seasons worth of flashbacks before it's even picked up for a second season. I think WEBG needs better scroll writers. If you're going to have every other story on the scroll be about Queen being discovered, maybe have it say something different than both the news anchor and the giant title right above it is already saying. Queen was a regular tabloid presence and a fixture at the Starling City club scene. Why does Ollie Bieber Queen here choose to go after the paparazzi that is farthest away from him, when this clicky McClickerson to his left is already all up in his face. Moira, I'd like you to prepare yourself. The Oliver you lost might not be the one they found because you're a psychiatrist as well? I knew it. I knew you were alive. Does this mean that his sister didn't go see him in the hospital? He's been missing five years and she just chills in a room until he can make it to the mansion? Rich people truly are the worst, huh? Also, Willa Holland is apparently going to make a career out of playing siblings to crazy people. The Queen's Gambit was last heard from more than five years ago. We know this story has already been out for a while, so why is this entire law office gathered around this report like it's breaking news? I mean, seven of them are sitting around the table like they were in some sort of meeting. Was it a meeting to watch the local news? DC Comics. Survived by her sister, Laurel. Good thing that remote somehow walked all the way to the end of the table, where nobody decided to stand, so we could have this overly dramatic moment. After five years, everything that was once familiar is now unrecognizable. Like windows, curtains, the smear, and I needed to get the butler to help me figure out what we call these shelves we put the books on. The face I see in the mirror is a stranger. It's not your face the camera seems focused on, Oliver. Do they print must have and be willing to show spectacular body right in the CW teen drama contract? Not that it's peculiar that they want to highlight Stephen Amell's absolutely stunning physique. I mean, I'm not saying he's completely turned me, but I now may be a tad bit bisexual. Wait, was his flashback sneaking up on him from behind? Apparently that flashback's lasted long enough for him to get dressed and head downstairs. Nice. Tommy Merlin. I missed you, buddy. And I missed saying your full name to you when I see you, like all friends do, because that's normal and stuff. Oh, and Lost? They were all dead, I think. Spoiler alert. Also, you think wrong. I didn't realize you took Russian at college, Oliver. I didn't realize you wanted to sleep with my mother, Walter. Oh, yes, queen. Slay it. But considering this comes out of nowhere, does it really have the impact it should? Sarah, we're going to be fine. Character says we're going to be fine right before a disaster strikes and a bunch of people die in a television show cliche. How'd you think that was going to go, Tommy? About like that. But Tommy Boy wasn't anywhere near that conversation, so how can he be sure he knows how it went at all? And why would she even ask him that question? All right, that's what qualifies as humor in the DCCW. Carry on. Are you f***ing serious? A taser directly to the f***ing heart and Oliver just spits up a little? What did he tell you, Mr. Queen? Discount Red Skull here makes sure that we know he's evil by doing the full drastic double head tilt, a move perfected by movie villains and done by no one ever in real life. Your zip cuff to that chair. Not anymore. Every time a hero gives away the element of surprise to try and sound badass with a quippy comeback, an angel loses its wings. Probably with a chainsaw, I'm guessing. Look, I don't make the rules. Also, are you telling me that in the five years he was on the island, he had enough forethought to train himself how to get out of zipper ties? What did he use? Like, seaweed? In the history of elemental competition, there are only two mysteries that shall never be understood. How paper beats rock, and how chair beats a group of three armed gunmen. Hi, my name's Frank, and I'm the kind of henchman that stands over here with this machine gun for about 15 seconds, waiting till one of my buddies is in the way before shooting for some reason. Hi, Frank. Also, even if using a human body worked and none of the bullets carried through to Oliver, you're telling me that not a single one of those bullets hit his arm or his face? Whee! You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. So we're rooting for a straight up murder in this show? Cool, cool. Being a superhero is backbreaking work, I guess. What do I call you? Diggle worm? Dirk Diggler? and Diggles? Getting diggly with it? Diggles good. Party pooper. Do we have an agreement, sir? 
Okay, I know Lightning McQueen spent five years on Origin Story Island developing his stealth skill and whatnot, but there is no way you disappear like that from a moving vehicle being driven by an ex-military bodyguard with full access to his rearview mirror. Also, he jumped out of the moving vehicle while carrying the bag and the backpack? For a guy who wants to keep his arrow shit secret, this seems to be a terrible way to do it. Sure, maybe nobody will believe a couple of homeless people, but you went through great pains to kill hardened criminals to make sure they couldn't tell anybody your secret. The abduction was unexpected. It forced me to move up my plans. Are we getting narrated at again? We are halfway through this pilot, so shouldn't you have force-fed us all the exposition we need by now? What's that? You're gonna do it again at least twice more before the episode is over? <laughs> well, uh, this origin story is so Batman that DC should sue themselves for this shit. The CW must save a lot of overhead on male shirts, since 67% of the time they are not required to wear one. Was the CW also behind the Manny? So if Little Green Hiding Hood had to roll out of a car to shake Diggle, let's grant the bag and the backpack. But how exactly did he get this giant crate here with no one being the wiser. Also, how exactly did he get that through customs? So I get that he took out the light above them with an arrow of some sort, but why did that also turn off every single light on the sides? Are these like Christmas lights where one bad ball affects the whole chain? Hey, you missed. Of course he did, because apparently Oliver is immune to f***ing bullets. He was wearing a hood, a green hood. And he had a bow and arrow. So it was Robin Hood? Legolas? Daryl Dixon? You're not really narrowing it down here, boss. What the hell's going on out there? Across the street. Party for the guy that got rescued off that island. Oliver Queen. You're telling me that Oliver's party is across the street? So when all the arrow stuff goes down, you don't think the cops might make a connection? All it takes is like 30 seconds of thought, and uh, whose arrow mystery is solved? Which one is she? The one who looks like the chick from Twilight. What's Twilight? You're so better off not knowing. Is one of these girls actually supposed to look like Kristen Stewart, or is this all just an excuse to make a lame Twilight joke? I'm guessing it's the second thing. You died. My brother and my father died. Amazing they can have this normal conversation in the middle of a dance floor with all that <laughs> playing at full volume. When she died, did she suffer? No. I mean, have you watched Legends of Tomorrow? I might beg to differ. Yes, we still have one thing in common then. Is this sappy music supposed to make me buy into some sort of sexual tension between Laurel and Discount Hardy here? We've seen them together one other time, in which she rightfully hated him for getting her sister killed. Sure, we've been told they had something before, but has enough time passed for us to find any of this believable? Something wrong? I asked somebody to do something. They didn't do it. Why even pronoun game your way around this explanation? It's not like you have to tell her anything. Just make something up, or say no and move on, right? Convenient time to wake up is convenient. Seriously, how can no one hit Oliver with a goddamn gun? Did you even try to save her? Did you even try to save my daughter? Well, isn't that a nice little Oliver twist? Here's the problem. There is no story reason why that information is more important now than it was when we first met this detective. In fact, knowing that information could have made for a deeper understanding of relationship dynamics for this entire episode. But TV's got a TV, I guess. Also, does Starling City not have any other police officers that could handle this case? Quentin being Sarah's dad makes him heading up this case the definition of a conflict of interest. There's some coincidence. I mean, you asking to have your party here and Hunt getting robbed right next door and by the same guy who rescued us at the warehouse? Damn it, the token best friend character would be amazing at TV since. Also, why did he use the word robbed? Nobody said anything about Hunt getting robbed. The detective guy said there was an incident and an attack, but nothing about a robbery. How did he do it? Oh, come on. Every single other arrow is cleaned up and the entire room is being put back together. But they left this one arrow that looks like it has some computer on it just sticking to the wall. Also, why didn't Greeny just shoot this magic combination router decryptor arrow somewhere in the room that was a little less obvious than behind the desk at eye level? Also, also, did Oliver learn awesome hacking techniques while he was on, you know, an island? Signifying a money transfer with a progress bar and a rapidly changing dollar amount cliche. This fall on the CW, the green list. So why in the name of fuck is Arrow hanging around this very fire escape right now? He just gleaned some awesome personal information by creeping around here. Good for him. She says the island changed me. Skip. Remain calm. 50,000 volts of electricity are now passing into your skeletal muscle tissue. For five years, I've had only one thought, one goal, survive. What do I call you? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Here we go. Two years ago, Bernardo got all 35 runs in 29 seconds. Thank you for your consideration. Just tell me what you want. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you. <laughs>